Hi, Steve Lapointeman here, International Living's Prue Correspondent. Today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, very traditional Peruvian uh, dish called ají de gallina. It's uh, literally translated as, I guess you'd say, hen's chili or hen's chili pepper. It's one of the, probably one of the top 10 or 15 uh, traditional recipes in Peru. It's up there with several other very popular things like uh, rocoto relleno, which is a stuffed uh, red hot chili pepper and there's many other ones, but basically ají de gallina is a uh, chicken-based recipe. It's chicken in a creamy, spicy chili sauce, and it's usually served with potatoes and rice. Almost everything here comes with potatoes and rice. Um, quite easy to make, probably takes about an hour, half an hour or so to uh, put everything together, another 10 or 15 minutes to cook it. So it's quite an easy recipe, so uh, let's go. We do almost all of our day-to-day -day shopping at the small local market, and this is where I purchase most of the ingredients for this recipe. It's always the busiest place in town in the mornings, but by 3 in the afternoon, it's pretty much shut down. For items that we can't find locally, uh, we can head to the supermarket at the closest mall in Trujillo, which is only about 15 minutes away by bus. Okay, so here we have the ingredients for this dish. On the left hand side you can see we have four yellow chili peppers, uh, four potatoes. Now we have about 4,000 different kinds of potatoes in this country, so I just picked four. These are just your normal white potato. Uh, a little evaporated milk in the back, cooking oil in the back. Uh, the next plate we have some black olives, we have some parmesan cheese, we have four slices of white bread, a red onion, a few walnuts, two hard-boiled eggs, a couple of cloves of garlic, and our chicken. And those are basically all the ingredients except for uh, salt and pepper. First step is to get the chicken and the potatoes cooking, so just cover them both with water and start them boiling before you begin the other parts of the recipe. You're going to need the chicken broth later, so don't discard it. Next, place the four pieces of white bread in a bowl, cover it with the evaporated milk, and set aside for now. So the next step is to start uh, chopping up the veggies. I'm going to start with the chili peppers. So I always take the uh, top off first, that's the easiest way to start this. Um, hopefully you have a knife that's sharper than mine when you, when you do this. Now you can cut them in half and get rid of all the seeds and veins so that just the uh, bright shell remains. Now you can chop them into slices or even smaller pieces if you want. But be sure not to rub your fingers anywhere near your eyes until you have thoroughly washed your hands afterwards. These chilies aren't really that hot on the pepper scale but still can be very irritating if they get in the wrong place. Okay, so now we're going to make a little uh, puree or paste with the uh, peppers. So you pour the vegetable oil into a blender or food processor, either one would work. Uh, add the peppers. Now they could be smaller chunks. I just kept them this size because it was easier uh, with less cutting. It was easier on my eyes. But put them in the blender and then uh, blend away. So normally I just blend it until I don't hear any more chunks flying around inside. But usually you can tell when it becomes a nice smooth uh, puree. So next we want to chop up our remaining veggies, the onion and the garlic. So just uh, cut them up into uh, small pieces. They're going to be sautéed a little bit and then they're going into the blender uh, along with the uh, puree of um, chili pepper and oil. I added the chili pepper puree to a frying pan, cooked it for a couple of minutes and then threw in the onions and garlic. Now it just needs to be cooked for a couple more minutes until the onions and garlic become a little translucent or soft. So now we have everything ready for our final preparation. Let's just take a quick look at these individually. 
Okay, in the front left we have our chicken that I just pulled apart with a couple of forks. So basically it's just pulled chicken at this point. And behind that we have the four slices of white bread that have been soaking in the evaporated milk. The cooked potatoes I peeled and split into quarters. Uh, to the right of the potatoes we have our uh, chili pepper, oil, onion mixture. And in front of that we have uh, Parmesan cheese and the walnuts. Last but not least we have chicken broth on the right, far right. I cooked the chicken and then just strained the broth so that we have a nice clear broth sitting in the bowl ready to measure out for our final step. Uh, now we're back to the food processor or blender. We're going to add our milk and bread mixture first into the blender very carefully. And then next, we add our walnuts and Parmesan cheese, which will complete this mixture for now. And then uh, blend this until it's nice and smooth. So now we add the chili pepper, onion, garlic, oil mixture to the blender and blend everything until it is smooth. And that is pretty much it for now, until we add the chicken in a few minutes. Uh, next we add the blended sauce back into the frying pan and add some of the chicken stock that we saved from earlier when we cooked the chicken. So now it's just a case of uh, stirring it up a little bit and heating it a bit before we add the chicken, which is our final step. So add the cooked chicken and it's kind of depends on how thick the sauce is at this point as to what you do next if it seems a little thick or pasty you can add a bit more uh, chicken stock to thin it a little bit and once everything is heated thoroughly you're ready to serve it okay so the way you uh, present this is usually it comes with a little bit of rice and you pour the uh, ají de gallina over the top of the rice and then you decorate it with a few black olives and a little egg, hard boiled egg and a couple of potatoes and voila, there's your ají de gallina, a very traditional Peruvian recipe or dish. Thank you. See you again sometime. Mmm, -hmm. delicious.